Johnson here and today we're going to be talking about this little contraption. If you don't have a way to measure volts, this is something that you're definitely going to want to pick up. Uh, I have an Aeroforce interceptor gauge which I'll be showing you in a minute as part of showing you how this works. But this is just a simple cigarette lighter attachment. As soon as you plug it in, it's going to tell you the output of uh, the voltage on your car. And why is that important? You'll see later in the video as my friend lost his entire engine from a lean condition as his Cobra lost an alternator, was relying only on the battery, and so after two or three back-to-back -back pulls, the car just didn't have enough power for the fuel pumps to supply the, the fuel that they needed. The car leaned out, he lost a piston, game over, and doesn't even have the car anymore. So anyway, I'm gonna show you a few things about this, and I'll put a few links in the description of where you can buy these and similar ones, but if you don't have an Aero Force interceptor like I do, or some way to measure voltage, and you don't want to spend a hundred bucks for more, this is a very good alternative for 10, 15 bucks. So I'll show you how it works. Okay, this is going to be one of the easiest mods that you've ever done. You just take out your cigarette lighter holder and you just plug this in. You just put it right into the cigarette lighter. So as you can see, it's telling us right now 12.7 volts. That's basically just the battery. As you can see, the car's not turned on anything like that. So in the moment that I turn the car on, you'll watch the alternator kick in. Okay, we're immediately at 14 and a half volts. Okay, now if you want to compare that to the Aero Force interceptor gauge as soon as it uh, comes up here, there we are. Okay, same readout. 14 and a half volts pretty much okay so that's how accurate this thing is so let's say that you're going down the freeway you're doing a wide open pull and your alternator shuts off you'd be able to see it in a, in a minute so basically there it goes okay so if you were if you're using this for that reason to help you understand if your alternator is working it's a must on these cars and let me show you what happens if uh, your alternator fails while you're doing back-to-back -back pulls. Whoa! Uh-oh. And here is the damage. Looks like oh. a freaking pumpkin uh, jack-o'-lantern. <laughs> melted a hole completely through it. So as you can see here, the side of the piston completely melted from the lean condition. And also if you look at the top of the piston, you're seeing speckling from detonation. So basically it got so hot that the fuel pre-ignited and exploded on the compression stroke before it was even all the way up. So this is the kind of damage that you can incur losing the entire engine basically just because of a lean condition. And a lot of people do not understand how an alternator can cause this, but as explained earlier, you lose the alternator, you lose fuel pressure eventually if you're running on battery only, and uh, you know you got your headlights on, you got your full fuel system going, you have all the headlights and every radio, anything on the car, the electrical that's going on. So if you don't want this to happen, then you definitely need to find a way to measure voltage and make sure that you're not going to completely destroy melt uh, your engine apart. Okay, so I wanted to show you as well inside this Chevrolet because it has a little more accurate of a voltmeter here that goes, uh, it gives you actual readout 14 all the way up to 19 volts. And so if you plug it here, it's going to show you basically what the battery readout is with without the alternator running. So we're at 11.8. And so as we go ahead and turn this on, as you can see, it's jumping up into the 14.8 range. And sure enough, 14 and a half is, is what it's showing. So it's pretty accurate uh, according to what the, uh, the vehicle is giving you.